welcome back to the episode of City Bus Manager. Uh, where you guys seem to love the first episode so much, we're back with a second one right now. And last episode, I built my very own bus company, and it all started with building my very own depot. I got the kind of the, the reception area, the corridor, an office, a kitchen, a bathroom. I built all the facilities for the buses, a refueling station, a mechanic workshop, and the bus wash not a car wash, and the parking spaces for the bus as well. Bought two buses, hired some drivers, and we actually have buses going around a route in my hometown of Birmingham. Two buses doing the loops right now, and it turns out we're making profit. I couldn't have, it couldn't have gone any better, guys. It couldn't have gone any better right now. But today I want to expand the bus company. I want to try and get at least one or two new buses, get a new bus route on the go as well. I don't know whether to kind of redo this bus route, uh, it's a bit long and, and kind of winding. Uh, I found out, you guys let me know that I can add my own bus stops and not have to use the existing ones. So we've got a lot of fun, a lot of things we need to do right now. So guys, if you want to see uh, more of this, want to be turn this into more of a series, want to see a third episode, smash the like button down below. If you are new in here, make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when the next episode does come out. But here is my bus. I had the Seniac logo on, got the Seniac livery on the go right now. It's so damn beautiful. Oh, also... You guys told me that I can save the liveries and the plimes of other buses, so I'm quite excited about that. So right now then, I need to increase my bus network. I need to create more bus routes to connect 11% of the buildings and points of interest to your bus service. Afterwards, use your buses for new routes and also complete 10 tours successfully. So what that means is I am going to have to build a new bus route. Now currently, we have this one that does the big loop. I'm going to keep this one here for now. It's, it's a great, perfect one. Uh, it, it's grinding us out money, and it turns a profit, so that will be a good money maker for us, just in case the next one I do doesn't quite go to plan. Now, what I need to do is I need to create a bus route that's going to go through the city center. I think that will be quite important, uh, but the question is, where do I take it or where do I make it go is, like I said, the big question. Going over to Villa Park would be quite interesting as well, but... This is the city center area here. I might do a route that kind of goes up, kind of through it, and then kind of comes back. Nice and simple. That should be a great way to earn some revenue by splitting through the town center area. So we have a bus pulled back in. Why is it pulled back in? Is my is my, uh, is my bus driver like on brake or something like that? Is this my bus driver here? Hold on, let me click on them. Let me click on them right now. I think this is my bus driver here. Bus driver walking around. Oh, that's right, because I believe they only work for like 10 hours of the day, then they have a break. Okay, okay. We have a little bit of something in our inbox. This is the same as Welcome to Birmingham. Appreciate it very much. And I assume we're still going to be making money. 314 big ones we've made today. That's really good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's create a new bus route then. So starting down here then, because we have our depot. Now I know that I don't have to ultimately um, utilize the bus stops that currently exist i can kind of create my own so if i go to bus routes and create a new route uh to unlock the public service lines the first one i need 25 um kind of trophies i've only got three out of 50. so i've got to complete more of these you get three for completing that one one for completing this one so new bus route and i've got to find an area where we can do a little bit of a u-turn so how long do i make this one so I could use this here as the U-turn area. So if I started there and then came down to having our first stop just here, and then we can use that. Actually, if I cancel that one and I stop it just here. So I can use that as the bus route comes back down, goes around and then starts again. Do you see where I'm going with this? So we're gonna get to stop off every so often. There, oh, no, 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 not on that side of the road, boy. I want you on this side. Nope, still won't do it. Right, cancel you. Right, can I get you to stop there? Yes. Then stop here. That is a really weird... Oh, wait, hold on. I'm on the wrong side of the road, aren't I? <laughs> you do be foolish. I gotta remember, yo, Saniac, you're in the UK right now. You gotta drive on the UK side of the road. Right, let's have a stop just here. Uh, stop just there. I can have another one here. I'm stopping at EA. I'm not sure what that means, but it's EA. Uh, I can have a stop just here. Right, goes around the roundabout to connect in. Moving further. Okay, no, that's on the wrong side of the road as well. Uh, stop just here. No. 
So you got to remember which side's on the right side of the road. No, don't want to play ball. Uh, oh, hang on. We're going on a slip road, which means we technically got to turn. So in reality, cancel that one. I do want... Okay, I, I, can't, I know where I'm going with... I see what... I know where I'm going with this. Can I get it to go here? Ah, okay. So I think it might be a case of... I can't... Some of these roads don't technically work in the game, which is really weird. So if I go to there... I might have to do a little bit of a detour. Yes. So the problem I've got here right now then is the, the, the game won't allow me. Let me get rid of the, this and this EA one to utilize this road to go over as a, a kind of overpass. So it's making me kind of go around the long way, which is kind of annoying that it does that because it doesn't register. It doesn't register some of the roads, basically. So forget that then. So go to this EA stop just there. I can go to a stop here, but apparently we're going to turn here, right, to somehow get back down. Okay, not that way. To so this stop, maybe? No. So maybe I have to create my own route down here to here. Wow, so I can't even do make it do a left-hand turn here. Right, let me figure this out. Have this now all figured out. So stop there, stop there, and then... Stop here. Actually, we cancel them last couple. Right, this might sound a bit ridiculous. Right, get to there. Stop here. Then here. Then there. Right, sounds a bit ridiculous. But right now, I have this huge route. So it starts here. It comes down. Goes up this way. Follows the road around. All the way down to here. Up there, round the roundabout, through the town. So it literally goes from here to there. It's quite long. It is quite long. I'm going to confirm that route. And uh, this is the. I'm going to reduce this. Maybe actually put it back up. Put it to six. Go from there every 60 minutes because I feel like this is going to be definitely a long route. And I can assign buses to it. So we're going to have to get a, a, another bus. Because this one's going to be assigned to the previous one that I had. So, uh, I need to get some bike place. I need to buy a new bus. So, let's buy another Cito right now. And buy this. And, yeah, a lot of you guys told me I can actually save the the, the, the kind of the stuff for it. Actually, I was going to go to the other one. But that one there, that's got to be black. And I need to apply a decal to it. So, let's start on the back right now. The Seniac logo there. Uh, we do the one on the front, so change the size. Now, we're going to save this at the very top. I did not realize you could save the decal kind of situation. So, save you. So, there. And then on this side, we need a smaller one over here as well. Right, a little bit too small. So, I'm hoping this will be the default decal I can save. So, save. And we'll call it Seniac. Uh, no, Fools. Fools. Transport Inc. Now I'm going to save it locally. If you want me to upload it to the, the Steam Workshop, let me know, guys. And then I should just apply. And now we have an additional bus, which means I'm also going to have to hire an additional driver. So this bus is now made it in, boys. Another bus in our fleet. So for staff, I need to hire another bus driver. Now click the little plus symbol. Uh, employee needs a locker. Oh, yes, of course. So I've got to build another locker right now in the corridor to be able to get another bus driver. So staff, I can now click plus bus driver. Uh, current office size 24, recommended size 28. Oh, I need to expand the freaking... Right, okay, before I do that, then, let's actually just get a bus on the route. So route two, let's assign a new bus. Boom, there we go. So the shift has now well, been adjusted. Route 1 could do with another one as well. Now, do I have that driver going to the bus? What's going on? Um, ne oh, next shift at 11.50. Okay, we have a little bit of time. We have a little bit of time right now. But these are our two routes. We have this long one scaling through. And then this one going a big loop. Interesting. At some point, we will kind of reevaluate the routes and try and make them more efficient. Definitely when we got enough points to kind of get the um, the public service ones. 
So I need to extend and expand um, my offices then, don't I? So what I reckon I should do is expand the corridors uh, in a way in which we can definitely generate more building work. So our corridor is currently one, two, three wide. So if I go one, two, three wide and go as far as, let's do a 15. There we go. I'm just now going to move this uh, locker just to over here. So is that enough to say that I've expanded so I can hire a staff member? Um, current office size. Build additional office or expand it. Oh, that bus is going out, by the way. So I need to build another office, basically, don't I? So office, this one was... It was a 6x4, wasn't it? How do I cancel that? Ooh. Right, delete you. Confirm. <laughs> I need another office, boys. Build an office right now. Build an office, boys. Build an office. So should I build it here? 6x4. Get a door on. And we also need a chair and a standing desk from what we did last time. So rotate this. A standing desk, which is now in the wrong place. There we go. And we also need a little bit of a chair as well. So I've gone for like something very similar. There's no point doing anything too crazy. And uh, oh, we've increased the bus network, by the way. We've done that challenge. Perfect. Um, okay, sweet. Now I can hire an additional member of staff. So bus drivers. I want a good bus driver. Aha, perfect. Hire you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now assign the shift of you on route one. There we go, boys. So now all assigned. We're good to go. So we now have them. Uh, six out of 50 of the little trophies. My next goal is to reach 10 active uh, weekly ticket holders. Now, who are all these people coming in? Where, where are you coming from? You're not employees. What are they doing? Oh, obtains information. Oh, so they're getting the local news out right now. Uh, open. 10 minute waiting time. So, got the information. Obtaining more information. Right, I gotcha. So each customer that comes in takes up five minutes. Gotcha right now. Right, next one coming in. Oh, complaints about the ticket prices. That's not good. That's definitely not good. Right, okay. So on my runs right now, we have this bus route. I can zoom in. Uh, doing the run, the rounds. Now, this one is a very, very long route, which means it's going to get filled up pretty quick. But it picks people up and it drops people off. So there we go. So picking more people up. No one really wants to get dropped off, believe it or not. Uh, picking up more people. Making its way through the area right now. Oh, it dropped off eight people. Okay, a lot of people got off there. 14 people got off at that one. Right, six off that one. Right, and it goes here. And then that's the last stop there before it turns around and comes back the same way. Picking and dropping people all off. So it gets down to here right now. And it should pick up or drop our people. Picked up one. Now it's skadoodling again. So picking up more people. Now it's back onto its roots. See, some of the roads are a bit weird in that they kind of break and stuff like that. But it's okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. So turning around, dropping off. Interesting. Right, perfect. So we should be making quite a bit of money because there's a lot of people utilizing that bus run, that bus stop. So yesterday we made no money, but today is still the same day, Tuesday. Um, we made ooh, over 1,000 in revenue, 307 big ones in profit, but I've spent a lot in kind of changing stuff, so it is what it is. So another bus driver is finishing from their tiring job. So we'll fast forward. They're going to have a beautiful little break right now before we can assign the next bus run. And we've completed that challenge, by the way, of 10 successful tours. So I've got another one. You actually earn money for these as well. Another one is to carry 668 passengers. Almost 666. Uh, which will take its own little time. Uh, we just got to kind of wait for the runs for that. So do I just get more buses to have more, you know, vehicles on the run? So route two, making some money. I could edit the timetable. How do I get more buses on this? Allow bus route to change shift. So intervals, modify departures. Ah, oh, in the order that they do it. Okay. Okay. Um, so, 
confirm all that, by the way. I don't want to. Oh, look at people waiting at some of these, like on these runs right now. There's a lot of people on this one. We probably do need more buses on the run, don't we? Yeah. Right. Okay. So if I was to buy a, a fourth bus, oh my god, it's getting expensive. I'm gonna sign the next one right now on route two. Right, go for it. Um, can I hire another member of staff? Yes, I can. I can. I, I got. Oh, place one more locker. I keep forgetting about the lockers. So corridor, a locker. Will it allow me to? Or have I got to get? No, I can. Okay. Uh, bus drivers then. Um, oh, friendliness. We'll go for you here, um, chef. Right now. Uh, there we go. And we need to get another bus. So marketplace. Now you can buy secondhand buses. You can. You can save some cash, Ola. Uh, can I bus it, buy buses more than 38 peeps? You can save some money. The condition's not too bad. But the problem is, you have to repair it after so often. So I'd rather buy new for now. So buy another one of these. Right. Load the... Uh, did I save? Lo browse local templates. Tr falls transport. Apply. Oh, there you go. How freaking beautiful. How freaking beautiful right now. Apply and buy. So, we're going to sign the next route for this bus. How do I sign it? There we go. For you, sir. Are you going to go? Not operational? Why is it not operational? Oh, is that the one I've just assigned? I think it might be. That's going on route 2 or something like that. So, that's operational. I could, Can I assign this one? Yes. So that will allow my next bus driver to kind of head out on it. Yeah, this one's already been assigned to Route 2, which we'll see the next um, driver kind of go out. So you have to wait for their times. They're going to start at 4.20, and this one's going to start at 4.25. So they should go kind of go out at the same time, which is really interesting. Now, we actually do have some rated... Oh, someone left us a review. I can only dream of the full transferring service center in my old city. Simply super and never waiting times. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful right now. <laughs> uh, that's perfect. I mean, you can't ask for more, can you, really? You can't ask for more. So, we got to get the 10 weekly active ticket holders. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Weekly active ticket holders. So, where do I change the prices or look at prices again? Tickets. Now, a ticket holder, weekly ticket holders here. We need to get more of these guys who are going to buy a week ticket. So, do I make it a little bit cheaper to try and entice people to buy a weekly ticket where they save more money? So, I'm going to change it to 22 big ones and see what happens. Right, we need to make a grand on the day, which is really good. And those buses are now out and about doing the runs. Look at them right now. Four buses, two on each uh, run right now. This is perfect, guys. So, if I was to do a third route, where would I take it? I don't know. I honestly don't know where I'd take it right now. Uh, but this is interesting. We've almost got the 668 passengers transported. We just gotta wait for uh, the buses to kind of come back and, and whatnot. Um, and then we've completed that one. We get four of the trophy points. Right, get out of here, boy. Oh, we one passenger off right now from completing that one. Get four. I'll then have 11. I got a little bit of a notification right now. Hello. I just found out my wage has been cut. Unfortunately, the money is not enough for me to live on, so I can't stay in this hourly uh, wage on in the long run. Right, what if I put it to 16? Would you be happy with that? 17? I don't know. What more do you want me to do, you damn fool? I have no idea. But well, we've sold more tickets. It's looking good. It's looking very good right now. Um, we've done that goal. We've got 11. So all I've got to do is get 25 to be able to create a new bus route using the, the city's line. So if I go to bus routes and new route, I want to do a public service line. This will generate me even more money a week without doing much more effort than transporting fools. Uh, but we got 11. I need another 14 right now. So we'll get one for selling uh, 161 tickets, and we'll eventually complete this by completing the lines as well. So it's going... Oh, did someone give us a bad review? Oh, they didn't say why. 
It's just a two-star review. Oh no. Well, that's not good, is it, boys? That's not good. But we'll end it here anyway, guys. We'll end it here. I hope you did enjoy this episode right now. More buses are returning back. Uh, and we are earning a sweet revenue, two and a half grand, which is going to fund future buses. And then we really need to transform the bus depot to have more buses in. So, guys, let me know what you think right now. I want to see an episode three where we're going to expand even further, hopefully get a public service line, buy some more buses so we can complete these goals a whole lot quicker. Uh, but to do that, I'm going to have to expand the building a bit more. Let me know what you think, guys. Smash the like button if you want to see episode three. Subscribe if you are new around here. And until next time, I see you all soon. So, goodbye.